Hello everyone. Today we are talking about an important concept regarding anonymity and cryptography, the dining cryptographer's problem. It is a way to perform secure multi-party computation and is hence part of the SMPC series. The problem has been proposed by David Chom in the early 1980s and it assumes that all parties are honest. Assume a number of cryptographers who are at the diner. In our case, to keep it simple and to better illustrate the concept, it's 3, A, B and C, but it can be any number really. At the end of the dinner, the waiter arrives to tell the group that the bill has already been paid. It could be one of the cryptographers or the NSA. The cryptographers naturally won't find out who paid, but respect each other's privacy to not reveal that they in fact paid. To find out whether one of them or the NSA paid, they proceed as follows. First, they select a secret random bit between all pairs of cryptographers. You can imagine them tossing a coin behind the menu, such that the third cryptographer doesn't see it, but in a digital example this would just be a random bit, which is either 0 or 1 and only known to two cryptographers each. Let's assume the following random bits. The next bit is public. If a cryptographer paid, they compute the following. The XOR between all secret bits they hold with the other cryptographers. Again, in our case, that's two bits. If he didn't pay, he calculates the inverse of the XOR between all secret bits they have. So the inverse is the NOT operation. To find out who paid, the cryptographers together compute the XOR of all this way published bits. Let's see what happens if the NSA paid, which means none of the cryptographers paid. So all cryptographers publish the XOR of their secret bits. Finally, the XOR, all the bits and the result is zero. This will always be the case if none of them paid, no matter how many cryptographers you have and no matter what, uh, what the secret bits, the secret random bits were. Why is that? Let's look at this table, where you see all the secret bits between two cryptographers. The bottom lower triangle is the same as the upper right triangle, only mirrored, since for example, A and C share, of course, the same secret bit. The diagonal is empty, since no cryptographer shares a bit with themselves. To illustrate the point, now let's assume that all random bits are zero. Since all values are double in this table, remember the triangles, this means that there must be an even number of ones. In this case, with all zeros, um, we have zero ones, but again, zero is an even number. So as soon as we flip one bit to one, let's say the one between A and B, the second bit, so the, the one between B and A, which is of course the same bit, uh, also gets flipped. There can never be an odd number of ones. Hence, the cumulative sum of all entries, which is what the cryptographers calculate at the end of the protocol, will always have an even number of ones, which means that the resulting XOR will always be zero. Now, if one cryptographer did pay, let's assume A paid, only their respective bit, the published bit, changes, which immediately changes the amount of ones to an odd number. This also means that the resulting XOR operation becomes one. This is how they know that a cryptographer paid. You might now wonder, what if two of them paid the bill? This ruins the whole protocol, since now two bits are flipped and the result would now be again zero. Uh, leading one, the one remaining cryptographer who didn't pay, to think that the NSA paid. The other two cryptographers in this case know what's up and might want to uh, get a reimbursement from the waiter. So the problem, uh, the DC problem, uh, has of course limitation and it is more of a theoretical idea with a, in my opinion, surprisingly simple solution. It spawned uh, DC nets, uh, which are a way to achieve anonymity and uh, which is a subject I will talk about in a future video. But for now, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel to keep the videos coming. See you in the next.